guys, you got Process Tuesday 18 with another career mode. And uh, I'll start off the episode, I'm requesting some funds for transfer. The transfer window has opened, and I'm requesting 2.5 million to uh, to spend on players. And uh, they accept that, the board, and um, I get get the money, which is good. Um, but Stephen Ireland wants to leave, and the board has told me I have to sell him, so, which is a shame. But then he wasn't getting any better, so it's not too much of a loss. And here we, uh, Montpellier, have an offer for Hooper, who we bought in the summer. And I wasn't having their offer. I, if I was going to sell him, which I don't want to, I'd only be happy to sell him for about 12.5 million, as I've, as I've done there. And you'll see what, what they do when they come back. And anyway, these are my transfer targets for this January transfer window. I, I can't, I can't go through all of them. But these are my transfer: Imbia, Vargas, Kabai. Kabai is a very good player, but I don't think I have to transfer money to bring him in. But Corker, Cor or Cor blah, blah. and then Dyer I want to bring in as well. Great pace, and um, and he has room to progress as well. He's, he's only 25, so I'll have him for another at least six years before he starts to decrease, which is good. And I put an off 2.5 plus Hutton there. Um, and then this is Daniel Corichiho. Uh, I need some more defenders, and I thought I should bring in a young guy who's going to progress into the club. And then Isco, I have him on my ultimate team. I have a La Liga ultimate team, very good player. I wouldn't, I don't have nine million pounds, so I'm going to see if I can get him on loan and have a future fee of nine million. Anyway, this is the next game. I think it's round three of the FA Cup at, against Shrewsbury, and I sim it because obviously we're going to win. Oh, or maybe not. We're going to draw one-one. Away at Shrewsbury, it was a bit risky, but I, I thought we would have the firepower, but obviously not. Anyway, um, Montpellier have come back, and they've offered £7 million, and I'm not going to have that uh, for Hooper. I'm not going to have that, so um, I reject that offer, and we're going to keep him, which is good. I'm happy to keep him anyway. And then Kieran Clark, in, earlier in the season we knew he was asking to leave, but now he wants to stay, and Manchester City have offered money for him. I thought Manchester City the money gods to have tons of money. I thought I could offer quite a big sum here and get quite a bit. So I uh, counter offered 14 million, which I think is well in Manchester City's range. And then now we have an offer for Darren Bent from Juventus, 9.5 million. I'm not going to accept that. Best player by far. Nah. And uh, they reject the offer for Corker and they're putting a new offer, as you saw there. And then this is, they cannot go ahead with Dyer now. Uh, that deal wasn't good enough story of my life really cannot get a deal first time it's always no 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 uh, so I have a 3.5 million plus Hutton no I don't plus Hutton in this one 2.5 3. Oh, why don't we just wait and see 2.25 million 3.25 million plus I believe it is I've it might be done maybe I think I can't, I can't remember oh Holman it would be Holman uh, and I and you see what they come back come back with that and then we had the loan to buy offer for um, Daniel Harihiho. <laughs> um, they rejected that, so I'm going to try and buy him now. I think I put an offer for about six, yeah, six, seven hundred thousand, maybe, yeah, seven hundred thousand, which I think is quite reasonable. As you see above the uh, chief chief executive says that's within the range. And then also we have a transfer offer for Stephen Ireland from QPR. Uh, quite quite a nice sum actually. But I, I thought he might is more worth more than that. His his value is three point five, so I'll I'll put that up, see what they come back with. It's not a ridiculous amount of money for quite a class player. And then they come back with three point four million and I'm gonna accept that. That that's a good deal. And another offer for Hooper from Bordeaux, we're gonna reject that again. <laughs> and then this is our next match against Southampton. Uh, at home. Earlier in the season I believe we beat them. Maybe. Or we even lost, I can't even remember now. But anyway, this is the match, and fourth minute in, Holman with a shot on his weaker foot and goes quite wide. That was the first chance of the game. And then Zogbier breaking away with his awesome pace, lays it off to Gagel Blahor, who has a nice shot and a good save by the Southampton keeper there. And then the resulting corner, out here, and Clark has a great shot for a centre-back, and, uh, and the keeper does well to save it. And then this is Southampton on the break. A uh, great tackle there by Lehi, who I'm starting to play more now instead of Hutton, because Lehi's only 20, 20 something, so he's going to progress nicely. It's Agon Blahor, and he squares it off to uh, Hooper, and a nice sweaty goal there. You don't have to, we don't need to watch that again. That's, um, you can close your eyes if you will. 
but that was um good goal. Hooper's been getting into some good form actually at the moment, which is um always good. And then this is the next the next highlight here. All Brighton's going down the wing. Great cross there. Agon in tons of space. How did he miss that? It seemed almost harder to miss, but you know, it's it's Agon We're still winning one 0 You can't can't lose. And then Lalana has a break down the left wing, beats one of my players, and then coming in and that Southampton player gets ahead to it and it goes narrowly wide, which was lucky to get away with that to be honest. And a good tackle by Vlar there lays it off to All Brighton, who tackles the player, and he has a long shot and well just take that in again. What just happened? What a strike there by Old Brighton. I mean he the amount of shots I've got with his weaker foot this season, great tackle there. And oh that that was juicy. That that was pretty nice to watch. Uh, I think we all agree we want to watch that again. And then that's how the uh, first half ended. 2-0 to uh, Aston Villa. Great, good half of football, actually. And <coughs> Southampton, I don't have, they've had a few good chances, but not enough to say they deserve to be equal. And then straight away again, we have Hoopers on the break. Tries to do a sweaty goal. Awful pass there. And he can't gather up the rebound. And it goes out for a corner, I believe. Anyway, this is all Brighton. Breaks in again with his... Breaks in to shoot, and he... That's a kind of weak shot. The keeper just takes it in. Standard save there. Then White down, passes it into uh, Agon Blahor. Nice little layoff there. And then Holman, with the strike, opens it up. And all Brighton. The amount of goals he scored this season like that. And he misses that one. A soft baby shot, almost. And um, then all and straight away, Southampton, after this, are just all over me. And they've scored. Ping pong. That was ping pong play. And it was just, it, it was going to have to go in, the amount of shots they've had on target. And then the not long shot from Southampton there, good save by Given. <coughs> and the resulting court, this is the resulting corner. And a Southampton player gets his head to it, also comes close, another great save by Given who punches it away. Um, and then Southampton again on the break, this was all them the second half, but um, this is it, that was how the match ended, 2-1 to Villa. Good match of football, good, uh, good amount of points. Anyway. For some reason, the board sold Ireland for th uh, 2.9 million, but I was going to sell him for 3.4, which I, I cannot understand. Anyway, this is uh, Steve, Stephen Corker, who again is not accepting my deals, so I'm going to try and offer different players, maybe a bit more money. So I'm offering Dunn this time, plus two, I think 2.5 million. Hopefully, they'll come back with it, but um, you have to wait until next episode to see what <laughs> see what happens with him. And this is Daniel Cahill, who again, they're not accepting the offer again, like everyone, so I offer 900,000 for him. Let's see what, they, and you have to wait again to see what happens with him next episode, so stay tuned, it'll be up in the next few days. And then I have a loan offer for Matt LaCointe, which I accept to get him, hopefully he'll get it better over time, see how he comes back. And Vlar offer 7.5 million, um, not a bad offer actually, but uh, here's, here's my targets actually, other targets. Uh, that's Varane from, obviously Karakio we've already talked about, Pogba, great player, progressing nicely. Kabai again, Claude Meyer or Claude Meir, I'm not too keen on him now, I'm not too sure actually. And then Dyer, like we've been going on about. So I'm going to uh, uh, go to loan Pogba, see what Juventus think about that. Because um, he's a player I definitely want to bring in. And when I have more money, I'll look to buy him as well, because uh, lots of YouTubers have bought him, and he, people have said he's got past, and have evidence of him getting past 90, which is crazy for someone that young. Already, like, already 78 at 19, so, some stats, actually. And also, I go to uh, loan another centre-back, the Var Varane from Real Madrid, because I need some more defenders in, like I said, and I want to bring some young players who I can use for a long time. <coughs> he looks like to be a good player. And Adrian also progresses into a nice player on a FIFA. He gets over 84, 85, which is quite good for someone his price. <clears throat> um, well, I mean, 3.9 million is hardly anything for a big club. So if you say, uh, even Aston Villa, who are relatively small, that was a quite a good deal. So tune in, till next tune in next time to see what uh, the clubs come back with deal-wise. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, favourite and subscribe. And until next time.